Hello there and uh, welcome to this lovely, lovely video. My name is Felix and I'm the founder of Domino Chinese. More about that at the end of the video. Now, we uh, here are going to set up your, uh, your keyboard uh, or your, your pad or whatever it is you're using on your Android phone, okay? So that we can type in Chinese, okay? Now, uh, this one here is a Huawei or Huawei you might pronounce it as, but we teach Chinese here, so we pronounce it as Huawei. Okay, now, uh, this phone, I would do like to apologize a little bit because you might be using Android Samsung, you might be using something else. So depending on your, uh, well, your, your phone brand, uh, it might look slightly different. But let's roll the, roll the video anyways and let me show you how to set it up. And I'll also show you a little treat at the end of how I think you can write a lot faster. First of all, you want to go into settings. And then here, somewhere here, it doesn't, again, again, it doesn't look exactly the same. Here, you want to go to about the phone, so it's basically like general, about the phone, setups, anything like that, anything very gen general or vague. Here, in my case, it's system and update, and here you actually have languages uh, as a, um, a language and input as a category, and you probably have that same thing on your phone. Now, when you are there, again, uh, all of this might not look exactly the same on your phone, so let's, uh, let's just stick with it. Here you can see my setup here. You might have different ones, but I use actually a Swift keyboard, which I would recommend that you start using as well. It'll save you a lot of time. I'm not an ambassador for them. I'm just, I just really like the way they do things. Now, uh, when you click that thing here, then you can go in here and you can select languages. And here you can see the ones I currently have. I actually quite have quite a lot of them already. And now you're going to go to the very bottom and you're going to look for, uh, well, Chinese. And now note what's important here. You want Chinese, you want simplified, and you want pinyin, okay? It'll actually say the same things in Chinese later on, or yeah, in Chinese later on. Once it's downloaded, um, once it's downloaded, you'll get this menu here. You might be able to be offered like these different things. I would say do the whole full QWERTY thing. That, now that you, as you go up here again, Again, it might look different on your phone. Then you'll have all of these ones plus the Chinese one, okay? Now it's actually all set up. You don't have to do anything else. Uh, here you can actually, again, uh, set up uh, how, if you want to do handwriting or, or, or simplify or like in different ways. But again, I very strongly recommend that you don't do that. Just do the full keyboard. Now let's go to notes and start writing a little bit. As you can see in the bottom here, you can see I've actually got Chinese uh, marked out here. So you can see here what I've done is that I've typed ni and then hao. Those are, that is the pinyin for the characters that I want to write. And then they appear here, on this little row here. And they will always suggest, um, like 99% of the time, will suggest the right character because it can auto-predict. It's a smart machine, this one. Um, and then you select that character and you're good to go. Um, now, if you want to switch back to English then, what you do here, as you can see here, you just swipe this little thing here, the space bar. In my, on my uh, computer, on my phone, this is how we do it. You might, again, do it slightly differently. I think all Android phones more or less do it in the same way. Now, you can see here I have plenty of languages. I have Swedish and so on and so on. Now, how I actually, how I actually write is like this. This is called a Swift key. You can't type it into English, into, sorry, in Chinese, but you can actually do it in any other language that uses ABC as a language. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. Now, if you want to switch back to Chinese, you just hit that little, or you drag that space bar to the other side and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it for this video. And that's how you set up all your languages, including Chinese, on your phone. And also how you write uh, in Chinese on your phone. And that is an Android. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I thank you very much for watching. I would also like to tell you that we, again, we are the, the one platform online, and I want you to take my word seriously here, that teaches Chinese and we actually guarantee you that we teach you, teach it to you twice as fast, twice as effectively as anywhere else online. So go, good luck going on a good research hunt, trying to find something. You'll end up coming back to us because we even have a guarantee that we're that good. Now, below this video, you'll find a link. You can actually, you don't even have to um, spend money investigating this. There's actually a link so you can try our product completely for free. So just go below this video. And uh, I'll see you on our website or platform or app very, very soon. Bye-bye and thank you for watching.